and welcome back to Crafts of Note. Today I decided to put all of the hauls and or purchases that I made in one video so that there wasn't a bunch of little short ones because they were just orders of little things that I needed or wanted here and there. And I'm going to go over them with you. So I have a few places. Joann's, classic, needed some lining. Clever Octopus and the Salt Lake Society. Those are two places that are local to me. One is a brand new shop that ships nationwide or even internationally, I think, with eco-friendly fabrics that are really nice quality and bra making materials. And then the Clever Octopus, I'll talk about them more, but they're basically a thrift shop for art and craft supplies. And then I also had an order from Greensdale Creations because I wanted to make some sparkly leggings. And then fabric.com, Amazon, where I ordered some fabric I needed to make this one dress that I had on my Make 9. And it is gorgeous. There's also an order of some sewing supplies from Wawak. And that's a neat place. If you need to buy a lot of uh, needles, it's a good deal. If you need some threads of different types, check them out as well. This is the Telio Satin Cotton from the Bloom Collection. And I think that it is absolutely beautiful. If you can see on camera, hopefully the colors are really vibrant and they are this bright, if not brighter in real life, which I love. Makes me think that it's very springy because you have tulips and summery too, because this is the color of like gorgeous sunsets and bright, rich, you know, colors you'd want to wear out in the sunshine. And I love that the stems are this really dark green color on the white backgrounds and I can't wait to wash it. I didn't know if it would dull the color at all so I wanted to make sure I captured it on video before I did. But it's really cool because it's paint strokes. It looks like paint strokes on the on the petals and it's blurred a little bit so it's a little abstract. It's not just printed and I love that it looks like it was painted. I think that's really really neat. And I loved this fabric when I saw it online. I ended up buying it from Amazon and I love it even more in person. I was trying to find something that would be suitable for a specific pattern. The very easy Vogue 9252. I have this on my make nine list and I did not have enough fabric of anything I liked to make it. So I was shopping around and I chose this one because I think it will be gorgeous and I'm so excited to make it. Cannot wait. And so this fabric, it's pretty thick for, you know, it's cotton, right? Standard cotton weight, but not too thick. You can see how it moves. And it has just a tiny bit of stretch, not a lot. I think it says on the line 10% in the cross grain. So I think it's gorgeous. So excited and they have others in this collection and all of the colors are very vibrant and beautiful i have the lemon and navy one as well that's been on a prior video and i have another plan for that dress so i was thrilled this month to get to go to the salt lake society it's a brand new fabric store that sells a lot of eco-friendly fabric and bra making supplies and she offers classes and stuff too but it's one of the only not chain store er things to go to in my area. So I took a visit. She opened in the pandemic, I believe around November. Didn't really need anything, but the only way to keep a good fabric store like that around is to buy things from them. So I made some purchases that were kind of cool and exciting. So I'm gonna show you what I got. And one of the first things that I got was actually this label set by Kylie and the Machine. And it says, you can't buy this. And I thought that was kind of funny because I think in some ways that's why I sew is that I can't buy it. And if I can buy it and there's no way to sew it, I'll buy it. So I wanted to put some labels into some of my clothes because I have a few dress patterns that I cannot, it's hard to tell the front and the back. And even my partner was complaining about a shirt I had made the other day that he couldn't tell which one, which way it was front and back. And so I had to, had to help him figure that out. But you know, sometimes a fun label like this can do that as well. So Kylie and the machine labels there. That's pretty neat. So that's one thing I got. And then I went into the bra making section after that. So I just got some regular, I think this is 12 millimeter bra band elastic. And I got a couple yards of that in a neutral color because that's always good to have on hand. And you always need some of this. And so I grabbed some of that and it's nice. Satiny on the front and shiny. And then the back is plush. 
So I got bra band elastic and then I got three bra bows. Always need a bra bow, right? I always forget to put them on. <laughs> and so I got black, pink, very like blush pink and a white one. And they were super cute. So I grabbed a few of those. They're your standard bra bow made out of like satin ribbon. And then the other two things I got are probably the most unique items. So one is this embroidered tool for bra making that I got. And I had been eyeing this on her website. Like you could buy it as a kit and everything. And I think she called it the Gothic arch. And so it has these really pretty black scrolling trim area here. And then the rest of it is just a nude. You can see it disappears under my skin. And so this is really pretty. There wasn't very much left, as you can see. At most, I probably have like a half yard here. So she was really kind because she knew I had come in for that and I said there wasn't much left. She actually gave it to me for free. So that was really nice of her, but you can still get some stuff out of it, especially because I'm a small cup. So I could at least get like some top cut pieces here and then the bottom of the cup could just be matching tool that I had or something else. Pair it with black findings, whatever, you're good to go. So that was a really pretty one. And this one she definitely had enough of. And it's a unique color set. I'll spread it all out so you can see. It is a black embroidered tool that then has a royal blue and gold embroidery on it. And you can see that it catches the light. It's very, very pretty. And this would make a gorgeous bra. And you could do a lot of neat things with this. You could have gold findings. You could do the blue findings. You could do black. You could pair it with other colors in the cup. And so I think I got two yards of this so that I had enough to do things with. So her shop is great. It's super cute and has a lot of neat things. You can shop online too. So you can buy bra making stuff there. It's in the United States. And check it out, Salt Lake Society. I had been shopping Green Style Creations website for activewear fabrics, and they have a glitter one, and I loved it. I love glitter. I love shiny things, sparkly things, fancy things. And so it's black, and it's completely coated with glitter. Now it's coming up kind of muted on camera, the amount of glitter, but if you're in more direct bright light, it's very glittery. And it's a rainbow glitter. It's not silver glitter, even though it's coming up kind of rainbow. And I got three yards of this so that I could make two pairs of athletic leggings. And I have like some uh, green and purple spandex I might pair it with. But this is really cool. I love that it's glitter. I love that it's, you know, like a black stretchy material. I even have a pair of glitter ponty pants. And I would totally make those too because Robert Kaufman has some glitter ponty on fabric.com as well in a couple colors. But yeah, I could not help myself for glittery athletic pants. You know what I mean? Too pretty. And it was worth the splurge. This is a kind of expensive fabric, but with, with making athletic wear, you do want it to be nice. It's very stretchy, as you can see I'm pulling. And it's stretchy in this direction too. I have their, I think their stride leggings. I think I bought, I have one of the green style creation patterns and then I have the Avery leggings from Helen's Closet. So those two patterns are what I have and I'm going to make some of that. And then I also got their little sample pack of all of their fabrics. So you can request this when you make an order and they'll send you a whole bunch of little squares so you can see like colors and feel and stretch because it is kind of hard to tell with those fabrics. So. A quick rundown of what I got is, this is the Yoga Flex and Ponderosa Pine. This is a thinner fabric. It's soft, but it's definitely not see-through. Like no matter how much you pull it, you cannot see through it. So that's really cool. I had been eyeing this one, so I'm glad that that's one of the ones I got. And then a line two in the dusty purple. Probably wouldn't buy this. It's another relatively thin one, but again, not see-through. Feels high quality, it's soft. Performance Moss Supplex in Snow Gray. It's this weird kind of like heathered, there's a little bit of green in it. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe if I bring it closer. There's a little bit of green in there. And stretchy. Feels more like cotton jersey. Possibly a little bit more see-through if it was pulled really tightly. 
a rib knit in pink. Feels really soft, actually. This is really nice. Don't know what I would use it for if I bought it, but it's nice. A Yoga Flex in the purple color, so it's just like the green one. I like this too. Not see-through. Some uh, laser cut Trico, so it's stretchy, but it has the holes. But like an athletic shirt or something, or maybe even a patch and pants. They're ribbon it in a rust color. Probably wouldn't use that either, but you know. The Align in the navy. Ooh, this is buttery soft on one side. Ooh, I like this. Only see-through probably if you pulled it really tight. And the Deluxe Suckplex in Chipotle. Again, I probably wouldn't buy this color. Rusty orange is not my thing, but it's very nice fabric, so it doesn't matter if you don't like the color, you can go and check it out. So overall, I think they have really high quality fabric if you're looking for athletic material and a lot of options and colors and glitter, so go for it. I had a quick run to Joann's because I needed lining for that beautiful tulip fabric. So this is their white stretch lining. It doesn't stretch a lot, just like the Telio Cotton Bloom Sateen fabric. It's just a little bit, and I didn't want to have stretch fabric that then the bodice gets lined with and has no stretch. So I wanted them to match. So I got the stretch fabric here, and you can see it doesn't really stretch a whole lot. It's like barely there, just a tiny bit. So lining, not super exciting, but that's okay. The other stuff I got is more fun. So I had it in mind that I wanted to get some charms for bras I was making. And I had wanted to do a Disney inspired collection. I was beaten to the punch by another YouTuber who was doing a Disney collection who was pretty famous for her bras. And I didn't want to seem like I was copying her, even though I had the end of I had different ideas, obviously, and it was independent of her, not inspired by her, but I had gotten a mermaid tail with little diamonds there, and I was going to put that in the middle of an Ariel bra, or maybe an Ursula bra, because I also got a set of seashells and starfish and stuff, and it doesn't matter if it's a themed bra, you can use these charms for any of them. So if you're looking for something to decorate your bras, maybe check out the charm section of Joanne's. How long will they last in the wash? Who knows? But you can just resell them on, get a new one. That's the great part about making it yourself. So I like this pearl. How pretty would that be in some bras? And then this one I really liked a lot too. I actually already used one from this and you'll see this in an upcoming video with the bee bra that I made this month from Emerald Erin. So there was another bee charm right here that's in that one. But then I have another honey bee, and then there's a ladybug, and then like this green beetle thing with this cute, cute jewel. I'm really excited about this. I wanna make some kind of bra that highlights that. Super fun. So that set of charms. And then these ones I got were just a generic set of different colors so that I could use them for any bra. They're not meant for any theme, but I like to have a little bling or a little decoration in case you don't have a bra bow or something like that. And they were super cheap that day. All of these were like two or three dollars a piece. And that's a really easy way to decorate your bras. So the Hildy and Joe line, watch for a sale at Joann's on those. So there's a store in Salt Lake City called The Clever Octopus that is really cool. It is a craft sewing and imagine it, any kind of art thing that you would do thrift store, nonprofit. So they take donations from companies in the area and from people in the area and they sell those products so they don't end up in the garbage or going to waste. And it ranges from sewing things to paint to all kinds of recycled materials that you might use to make some kind of art project. And I mean, they have everything, fabric. And I like to go there every once in a while and check things out. And I went recently this month and I got some cool stuff. So one of the things they have is they have patterns. People donate patterns. So these are the two that I got. So Butterick 5245. It's no longer in print. And this is a gathered jersey knit dress. And it's 50 cents. So that's cheaper than you can buy at a Joanne sale. It's not cut or anything. And so I thought this was cool. I would definitely make this dress. And it's something nice to have in my collection. And the other one that I got was Butterick 
5181. This one is for woven fabrics, but it's pretty. It's got length options. It's got feature options for the middle where you can change the color. They also have cute little things sometimes. This is a notebook or a little notepad that has quotes on it. And there's all these different themes like romance and friendship. And each page has a notepad, but it says, I overheard this on this date. And then each one has a theme. This one is what I, words I think sound cool. And it's really inspirational words to live by. I thought it was fun and it was cheap. I think this was 25 cents or 50 cents. So I thought that would be cool to have in the sewing room or just for fun in general. And the last thing I got was a whole set of ribbon because I needed ribbon for the flute and piccolo swabs that I make for my Etsy shop. And it's nice to have a place that you can go get some. And so this has all different colors of this skinny quarter inch like Pico satin ribbon. I got blue, white, light blue. This one doesn't have the Pico, it's just straight like skinny satin ribbon. This is for the piccolo. A green, like a teal forest green. I like that one a lot. More light blue. And they didn't have a lot of certain colors. That's why there's a whole ton of blue. And then this is a purple chevron ribbon that was brand new that I got. And so all of them were pretty much about 50 cents a piece. And then that day I also, there was also um, a sale for members and members had 25% off. I spent $5, less than $5. I had to round up for credit card purposes on everything that I got, including some folders that I haven't put in here. So less than five bucks for all the ribbon and the patterns and everything that I got that day. So the Clever Octopus, it's a, such a neat store. I wish everywhere had a place like that so that we're not throwing things away and that people can then have a chance to buy things cheaper and at recycle. I've even gotten twin needles there, serger thread, all kinds of fabric and stuff that's nice. Sometimes it's not a great selection. It's really hit or miss, just like any thrift store, but it's a really cool place. This lot of slow chunk is what I got from my Wow Whack order. It's kind of a fun name, isn't it, Wow Whack? Uh, if you've never bought from them before, they sell needles and all kinds of sewing supplies and threads. And one of the best reasons to order from them is I placed this order yesterday afternoon and I got it today. Like the shipping is amazingly fast and it was free with my order. And even if you don't meet the minimum for free, it's like five something dollars and it's basically overnight shipping. It is faster than Amazon if you need something. So you should check this out. I didn't get anything really, really exciting here, but paper. And then everything came in a big bag here. So let's just take a quick look of what I got. I got a bunch of Guterman Morrow 120 thread because I knew that these were going to match some bras I wanted to make soon. So I got four, I thought I got four colors. Apparently I got three colors. <laughs> um, I could swear I got four colors. I thought I got a blue. Anyway, I got like this burned, like purpley red color because I have a fabric this would work for and a bright royal purple and an emerald green color. I got these because normally you could get away with having the four basic colors, which I showed in my um, beginner bra mistakes video, but they work so well and the difference in my bra making is so distinct using them. I was, it's worth getting other colors if you know you're gonna use them. And then I got serger thread that I needed. Again, not really exciting. I got two cones of black and then, I don't know why one looks thicker. That's kind of funny that one looks thicker. And then four cones of white. Here, as you can see, the cones of white. Ma it's the maxi lock, all purpose. Oh, there's the, I was like, I knew I bought four Guterman Mara colors. So the one is like a royal purple, and then this one is a dark purple. I think I wanted blue, but I've got purple, my fault. And then, here we go, I got some needles because I was getting low on some and they are definitely the best cost price from getting there, getting them there. So I got Microtrex in the size 8012. I got a bunch of these, I think five of them. And then I got one 
pack of Jersey because I was getting low on Jersey needles. And that's it for my Wow Whack order. Very exciting stuff. Not really. But you know, happy to have good materials. Mm -hmm.